Dear friends, in my very first video, Find Your Natural Grip Part 1, I said that the common grip might not provide you with enough power and many carom players who follow carom will say otherwise. That's why I use the word might. So I agree with you guys. In the same direction, I will try and analyze the grip of one such prolific champion, Nishanta Fernando, who uses a similar grip. Let's just appreciate this champ for a minute. One cannot stop getting mesmerized by the command that Nishan displays while playing his shots, be it a straight piece or a cut where the striker has to travel a lot of distance. He keeps his opponent under constant pressure as if he is repeatedly whispering in his ears, catch me if you can. His command over the grip allows him to think very fast, keeping him one step ahead for the next shot. His command over the grip also allows him to calmly move his body behind his every carom shot. He comes for the match, sits and then just blasts his carom on slot till the match is finished. One can draw parallels between him and the great Mike Tyson. I'm sure his opponents would understand what I mean. Now, the question that remains unanswered is, how on the earth is he able to do such carom jugglery using such a sim simple approach for his carom grip? Let's try to see what are some of the peculiarities that he has developed into his grip, which make this carom grip so unique and so difficult for others to simply copy it. Let's start our analysis. There are three phalanx in the index finger. This is the proximal, the middle and the distal. Okay, And it is this distal phalanx, the first one, that is in direct contact with the striker. If you, if you watch carefully this aspect of Nishant, you will see that it is slightly bent like this. You know, it is slightly bent like this. You can see this phalanx slightly bent. Now, I don't know if this is natural or uh, it has happened with a lot of carom or it is just what he does while he's playing. But you will see that he is using this distal phalanx in this, this bent manner. Now, what this bent distal phalanx does is it increases the point of contact. It increases the point of contact. Okay, so it increases actually the lapse in time for which the striker is in contact with his index finger, hence his control over the striker. In addition to this, for majority of these shots, you know, if you see his shots, even if there is a slight cut is associated, what it does is he flattens his index grip. You know, he flattens his index grip like this. It's a, he makes it a bit angular. Now, what this does is, again, what this does is it serves two purposes. It increases the lapse in time for which the finger is in contact with the striker even more. Secondly, with this slight spin, slight spin that he imparts on the striker, the coin too in turn glides it into the pocket with this acquired spin. In simple words, with his grips, he just eases the pocketing of the carom coin. Voila! I hope that with this, you will be able to better understand the game of this extraordinary carom champ. Let's see one of Nishan's trademark carom finish. Here is a carom position in which the opponent didn't pocket his thumb, expecting that he will likely get another chance. I would highlight that the opponent's thinking is absolutely right here and it should work in more than 90% of the cases. Absolute class, isn't it? Let's have a clearer view of this angular index finger. Let's see one of his trademark white breaks. Here you go, you see one of his the grips easily. And every time you see he's thinking so fast, he's always thinking of his next shot. You can only do this if you have a very good command on your grip.
so delicate, isn't it? And the last finish that can boggle anyone's mind. I should say that such an awesome display of Karen boggles even the opponent who just shakes his hand and says, Well played champ. In conclusion, I would say that Nishant has developed a combination of the common grip and the flat grip. For such grip to become consistent, one needs to practice hundreds if not millions of hours and of course be creative and original to try to find your unique natural grip. Thank you.